Hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, God of War. I'm Ranjakumo, and I still can't open this shit. Maybe someday Mimir will tell me something about that, but for now. Chain reactions, cool. See another one. Good. All right. What else is here? Another one of these. Let's see if this one's two hour. Probably doable. I do not feel like trying. Lots of places to return to. Back, to return to later. I hope it at least gets marked on the map. Yeah, it does. Cool. Should I be concerned by that? Wonder what became of him. Wait, Fafnir? Like Fafnir Storm, Fafnir? The very one. But Cinder said he was a dwarf. He was, and now he's a dragon. <laughs> how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, <laughs> lads. Is that how it works? Also close from that side. I don't see another way in either, but oh well. Uh, don't think this was where I, where I was supposed to go, but oh well. Does it not let me? Okay, I can see the the dot in the wall, but oh, that's probably why. Friend of mine. This little scrot was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Then why free him? Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. A greedy little dwarf come dragon. Fair enough. Alright, this is probably. Yeah. How is that loot there? How did I not see this? Did it show up after? 
Oh well. Can I go up there now? Yes, I can. I might need to concentrate a bit for this one. to change my light runic attack like the stats are pretty good but Literally just damage. Uh, this one's actually. Uh, that might be a pretty good one to have. I wonder what affects the the cost. This one might also be good. Is it this one? This one? Yeah. It's very costly, but it doesn't seem that powerful. But then again, it attacks a lot. I think I'm gonna stay with that one for now. Alright. I'm really going to need to concentrate on this one. Oh, my God. 
I can probably do it. Uh, I'm surprised I have done it that many times. Shatter air. Frozen enemies shatter. That might take longer. And kill born enemies. Okay. Ah, those are called travelers. Good to know. Kill more wolves. Kill more wolvers. Kill more vikings. Uh, yeah, basically, what just kill him whatever. Become a dragon. I don't know for certain, though I'd wager his penchant for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. Must have stolen a trinket from the wrong Banyard goddess. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a complicated fight. Mostly because the whole, of the whole ground being electrified thing. This might take me a couple tries. Those tries start with remembering to change him over to electric. Yeah. 
I didn't actually need to help. Hello, Fafni. Brilliant scale of the chain, right and channel. Dragon favor complete. Oh my. The fact that that's a category. Steady? Okay, I, I guess it counts, yeah. Okay, anything else to do around here? I just wanted to break that base. Oh well. Seems like that's pretty much it for this area. So I guess we can go back and remember what our <laughs> objective was. Maybe. Oh yeah, did that give me XP? Yeah, but not really enough. Alright, alright, I guess I'll go find that magic chaser. If I don't get too distracted. The Mason's Channel. Hmm. The mirror. There was a shrine about a giant lady. Lots of books and, and visions. Ah, that would be Goa, the knowledge keeper. She was a gifted sorceress, who gathered every tome of arcane wisdom she could find in the realms, all in the hopes of augmenting her powers of prophecy, that she might find her lost husband, Arvandil. But it was not her husband she would glimpse in her visions, for it was Groa, seeing longer and farther than any before or since, who witnessed Ragnarok, the end and the beginning. Odin caught word of her ultimate prophecy. He maneuvered to obtain her knowledge and hoard it for himself. Groa knew Odin as a long-time patron of her services, and so she welcomed him into her library as a friend. What she did not know is that Odin himself was behind her husband's disappearance, having used his enchantments to conceal his death at Thor's hands from her sight. Smiling, jealous Odin took her by the throat, and with his very hands, he stole her library and her life for his own. I always knew Odin was bad, but that's just... Yep. Ruthless? Barbaric? Heartless? That's Odin. In yep. fact, we would do well to sit here in silence for the next few moments and reflect on Odin's capacity for cruelty. Okay. And so... Reflect longer. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> okay, I, I was trying to actually sit a moment in silence. I did not expect that. Sup. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. Hmm. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Max that on HP again. Well, either way. Ah, good. A special chisel is ahead past this gate. Oh, cool. It stays open. Oh. Hello there. Game value of Thought they saw a chance. We should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to mom again. If we keep an eye out, look if you we... wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. Yeah, you would know, wouldn't you, Kratos? This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamu or hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. Oh, then? So far from home. Thor. Oh. And? What happened next? You'll see.
killed him. Oh, no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamma fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanier god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Hmm. Yeah, that's, uh, that's rather sad. Don't think I can land over there. I think he might be a bit stone locked. I would feel bad about it, but I don't. We seek a chisel. The tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. Hmm. Magically sealed, I'm afraid. Yep, another one of those. Crystal's brimming again. Yeah, but that doesn't seem to be doing much. Why can I grab it? I can. There we go. Oh, neat trick, lad. Thanks. His idea. This lead to a hand, apparently. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. That looks like a way up. Yeah. Oh, hello there. Good well enough. More of this stuff. Atreus, here. Yes, father. Yeah, I know there's nothing I can do about it, but I'm still going to interact each with each one of them just in case that marks them or something. Does that actually mark them? I guess not. Hmm. Oh well. the handle, right? Can even see the details on it. More loot! Probably 
Runic Wheel Skin Pauldrons. Impress Runic, makes sense. Oh, well, going up. Here he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Yeah, I guess we only need the tip. We don't really need the whole chisel, so there's that. Hostile. An all fine light crystal. Wonder what it's for. Over to the left! Should I feel bad? I guess I stone locked him so hard I liked the game. Pulver, yeah, yeah, okay. So there's something there, there's. Oh. Might as well. Okay, so those are the bracers. Okay, what does that say? Read it. Yes, sir. To Njord, we offer back the seas back. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. <laughs> to be unlocked first, but let's take stuff. The one I need there. Hey, how did roll trees that? That's Andy. And there. one for now I guess we can bring this over what was it over here yeah yeah Woo! <laughs> enjoying the snow I don't 
like what this is going. Let's try what this is first. More money. Alright, what could possibly go wrong? Oh. Okay. Dust of the rounds. Just like that, huh? Alright, that's the last one. And that should be the right symbol. And that's the chest. Loot. What do we have here? Mark of the Ranger, legendary enchantment. Ooh. Extra damage. That's pretty useful, right? Maybe. And again, it wasn't exactly a big percentage. Alright then. Alright, with that, I hope you all have fun. And we'll see you next time when hopefully I grab that thing. Bye bye!